uh, in this issue, in this uh, video, we're going to look at the last piece we made for um, sending out to a uh, laser water jet cutting company or hot wire. And in this case, we're going to look at making it uh, three dimensional. A few things change when you do three dimensional. If you go down here, follow the cursor down to the looks like a hand dynamic pan, and we drag that off, and then we move it over to that part of the uh, screen. And we, instead of holding that, we do the dynamic pan, which is sort of a tool that lets us work in 3D. To get back to our view, we do uh, Apple 3 as the top view. And we're going to go up to view, and we're going to go to isometric, which gives us sort of a plane. And we're going to come to this here, which is push-pull. Now, I have <laughs> most expensive version of uh, punch CAD software and it's three years old so it doesn't have this feature which I think is quite amazing. So I click on that and as soon as I hover over the um, part I just made of the lines it it uh, turns pink. If I face on and I oh, do it again and I hold the cursor down and move up that went up to 2.196. We tab it over. Oh, sorry. We tab it over and we do uh, two inches. Apple F again to fit. Now, if I'm making something um, in 3D, I pay for everything that I ever for the weight. So in this case here, I want to make it very thin. So I'm going to a wall thickness of 0 0.125. Let's just do that. I've already done it, but let's do it. So tab and then point, uh, well, it's not going to do it, but anyway, tab it over, point one, two, five, enter. And I then click on the top. It's going to, when I first click, it's going to pick the part I'm, I'm dealing with. There could be three parts here if I'm doing complicated drawing. And it's the second click is going to say to me, which face do you want, the top face or the bottom face? In this case here, I'm pointing to he, right here. If I saw through the piece with transparent, I'd see two faces. Um, uh, so I'll pick that face, and it is now shelled. So now I have a wall thickness of 0.125. It could even be thinner. Um, let's just hide that for a second. So we go back to here and hide this, take this. And we hide it, and we go back to this drawing, and we do the same thing again. Pick this, turns pink, and this time we do 0.125. Um, eighth of an inch. Let's do quarter of an inch, 0.25. And to do return, it's now that. I come back to show, back to the bottom. I want to show something, and I show this. The first piece, click on that, and I go back down here and I click on that piece, the, the piece that what I want to be the top. I click endpoint, I bring it up here. Oops, I'll bring it up, and I'll mount it on top there, like that. So if we wanted to, we could have this as a waterproof box, uh, or we could have the top with different openings um, and uh, but that is we could just put get to four bolts four nuts and we would have uh, two pieces made separately but we'd have a complete box in this case you know as it's a square they're easy to buy but if you got into a complex octagonal um, piece that you wanted to do uh, this is the way you do it something custom that's a better way of putting it this, this is a great way of doing it. In this case, uh, if we want to export to a rapid prototyper, uh, we would go down to STL. STL would turn it into um, facets, and I'll show you what happens there. So I'll just do that, and it'll ask me, uh, I'll replace it. 
and it'll ask me all these dimensions. And I try to get them. If you're going to email it, you keep it over here. But if you're actually going to make it, you bring this down here, STL facets, and you update these deviations. Try to get them close to close to zero as possible. You update it. And that would be a very big file. So you couldn't, you could not uh, email this, but you could bring it to somebody, uh, or a, you know, CD or a um, uh, a USB. So let's click OK. It's going to be a huge file, so it'll take some time to do. And you can see what's happening on the drawing. There's little, little tiny triangles. So what this does is it makes tiny little triangles. And my computer's heating up. I'm going to increase the fan speed for a second here because doing this is very hot. Anyway, you get the idea, and uh, it's trying to make it. Okay.